Hello and welcome to the channel. My name's Pooley and in today's episode we're going to play some Star Citizen. You're probably wondering, what? Is this still not progressed anything? Well, since the last time I played, yeah, it's progressed in certain elements, but still no server mission, so it's still 50 people per, per server. And the last time I played, it just felt empty. It got really boring really quickly. Anyway, we're going to play some. Let's see if we enjoy it, see if we like some of the new features that's been added. We're probably going to start this one with some mining. And by the time I finish, I might actually write a will and leave this game account to my children's grandchildren and when the game finally releases they'll be able to enjoy it because i probably won't be around when this fucking thing releases but let's jump in and see if we get on well here we are in this gorgeous looking hotel complex looks really 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 nice i'm just heading towards the metro loop so I'm following the signs for that. That's going to take us to the spaceport to get out our ship. And as mentioned in the intro, I am going to take out the... What would you call it? Uh, the prospector. I'm going to take that out. We're going to do some mining on one of the planets. See what the atmosphere is like on the planet. See what the weather effects are like. This looks so nice. They're pretty smooth. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but I mean it could be better. I should be playing around with the settings somewhat, but we can we can do that another time, but look how sexy this looks. I like the clouds up there as well, that looks pretty nice. The 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 whole building up there looks rather intimidating when you see and realise how big it is. But when we get here, I'm hoping it's signed because I don't know where I'm going. We're just going to run to the hangar, grab the ship, and then look at the map and we're going to figure out which planet we want to go to. So just arriving now. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, we're going this way. The only way we can go actually. Oh yeah, look at this. That's pretty nice. So I'm guessing that's just like plant life you can find on the planets as well. But we'll we'll find that out. Call these elevators. I like the fact that it actually takes the time to get there as well. It's not like just an instant thing. Like you actually have to wait for the elevator to arrive if it's not obviously on your level I wonder if these go like just up and down or if they go like side to side as well I'd imagine they go pretty much any direction we are in space after all but yeah it's a similar little layout there just different plants oh this is like a customs area you know, these guys the standard guard Wait here. Wait here? We'd have to wait here for. Yeah, I imagine that's something that's going to be added pretty soon, but at the moment it doesn't look like it's actually functional. Got some NPCs over here. Customs and information. Won't let me talk to this person anyway. Uh, actually, pretty cool. Messing stuff on the window ledge. Oh, what's this? Ah, right. So this is if obviously you do anything criminal, you'd come to one of these and pay fines and things like that. I wonder if there's severity in crime. So obviously murder would be higher than, say, I don't know, not requesting to land. <laughs> Imagine like not requesting. It. Hello, hello, blondie. Yeah, so not, not request the land would be like an impression, like, so a fine or something like that. I wonder if if you murdered someone, would it be like an instant death on site sort of order? Oh, look at this. The ship rentals. Little teddy you can actually buy. I think I've got that because I did uh, subscribe to the... Like the pre 
premium if you want to call it that some ships that you can rent don't look through some of them the prices aren't too bad but I imagine the ships for the low price are going to be probably pretty shit I mean that's all shit that one huge that one that was like a motorcycle or something they got a horror craft the factory is that's a weird looking one Margie yacht that one let's just walk away got a group of guys just chilling around and that person sat up looking a bit strange there but how did that I wonder if you can actually take commercial flights. Let's get our ship out of the prospect. Of the Anvil Arrow. You must be given that for free because I can't remember ever purchasing that one. But the prospect is ready now to retrieve. I think we'll click it. I don't know how long this is going to take load to put it onto the deck for us, but we'll see. Hopefully not too long. I'm hoping that I can get into this a little bit more. I'm just hoping that there's stuff to do. Like the last time I played it, yeah, you could do bounty missions, you could do delivery missions, things like that. You could mine, things like that. But it just felt empty. Like, what's the point? You, you do that, you do a little bit of testing then you know it's going to get wiped soon like that well in the next update now i don't think they do wipes anymore oh there she is i don't think they're going to be doing wipes as often anymore but knowing that there's no like true persistence it is going to get wiped eventually and the fact that there's still no server mission so it's not really in them anymore it's a 50 player server that you just play on so it feels empty but let's see if we can enjoy it this time and the animation of coming up them lads is there and then come back in that looks so cool put a look around the shape there i can remember this not being very big it's very basic but it is designed for for mine and not really anything else <laughs> sit down and get cracker lacking the seating animation that looks pretty cool where is the I think we do air and there should be a flight ready somewhere there is oh see they've made that look a lot better with the hologram like kind of effect before it was just a couple of little diagrams that were like on the screen that didn't look too Aesthetically pleasing, if you will. Going to our mobile glass now. We'll... There's the. Why do I get the request to take off? You can get it on one of these monitors. I think the engine's already on, don't we? Going over to. I forgot how you get to it. I think. I don't know, I just got one of the money, then just click the menu. Hmm. Yeah, comms. Go. If I click that, it should start requesting for me to leave. You're clear to launch. Oh, oh, oh. Look at the way these doors open. This is going to be such a great game. Just, it's. I know. I would rather the game take longer if it, if when it's ready to go it's a flushed out game and it's like take cyberpunk for example people wanted that so bad they just thought fuck it release it they release it and it's a buggy piece of shit I don't want that to happen here I am willing to wait just it seems we need something that gets players coming back that's playing it consistently i mean you've got some of your bigger youtubers you know you've got like board gamer who literally probably plays this every day 
I get that's where I get my news from. It's only Star Citizen and stuff that comes up. I do still watch it, so I've got a basic understanding of some of the changes. So we've got to get out of the atmosphere to basically get there. Some of the top, uh, to, uh, the higher speeds, but oh, look at the view there. We've got buildings and that. It's so cool. Doing the landing pad down. Well, landing gear. Going back down. Yes. Very pleasing to look at this game. I don't know if I should edit some of this footage out, you know, make it so, you know, we snap to when I am out of the atmosphere and things like that, but I kind of want you to see my reaction as well. This is going to be the first episode, it's going to be the first episode, so maybe in the second one we can start editing out these sort of bits, and so get to like the action or... Anything interesting that happens. So we just set a waypoint there. And we got that plan. I just I've got a feeling that if we can get on there and the weather changes so it's stormy, then we can see the weather effects as well. I don't think you can actually leave your ship when it's storm weather like that. Because I think you have to be particularly suited for each sort of climate. I think you go on some planets and it's like a really high temperature planet. Some obviously the opposite, so it's like a freezing planet. So if you got out of your ship and you went outside, yeah, you'd survive for a little bit, but 10 15 minutes, whereas you have the right gear on, hours. But on the, looking on the outside of the ship, there just the views are absolutely amazing. And like I, I have mentioned it, but I really do like the hood now. I think it could still do with like a little bit of tweaking, make it a little bit prettier to look at, but it's a lot better than what they added. A lot better. Still in the atmosphere. It'll take us a while to get out of this, I think. Depending on how much longer it's going to take, I will snap out of it, but we'll we'll see how long this takes. Well, we're out of the atmosphere now, so we can get the option. So if I click B, it starts the spool, which is obviously what we want. That's ready. So if I click and hold B, yeah, it starts the process going. Boom. Oh, it's so cool. Like being actually in hyperdrive like this is, is so pretty. But I wonder how they're going to do it when you go for the jump bridges. Because I think they're at the jump bridges. So similar to like some what something like Eve on mine. My dad was gonna make that look. Anyway, we're getting to the point now where we could probably get onto the planet and start doing some mining. See what shit's gonna be like. We're gonna lock onto this one. I'd rather be in the daylight. So we'll shoot round to the other side of this planet. And I wonder when I get closer, is it going to put me right down low to the planet, like in the atmosphere, or am I going to have to... I don't, it looks like it's going to put me in the atmosphere. So not a bad thing. There we go. Oh, look at this. It's going to look even better when I'm lower. I found some already. Nice. I think if you zoom it in and then ping it again, it narrows it down. Yep. Well, that one's gone. Must be over. That is way, where's that gone? Yeah, it's just shown over there now. Well, let's fly over here, we'll start looking first and have some fun with it. Oh, it's quite a way off now. Keep going. Yeah, so the weather's fine at the moment. It's not stormy weather or anything like that. 
nothing to worry about, nice and calm weather by the looks of it. There's some stuff down here at the left. I think if we fly close enough to it, we should be able to scan it. Right, there we go, yeah. So we're getting close, I think. I have to left click? Yeah, you have to left click. That's right click. <laughs> if you hold left click, then it scans through and then tells you there what we've got. And is it worth staying and grabbing this stuff? Tells you the mass and everything like that, the stability of the rock and everything we're going to need. No, I'd, I'd have to look a bit more into that because I don't know what numbers are good, what what ores are good, what ores are crap, what what's worth leaving. Even if you get really good ore, you don't want like a two percent and then the rest of it's in our materials because then you basically put yourself in the yeah you can get some high value items but not that much of it. The higher the percentage of the good ores, the better. Let's go over. Where is that? Just on the other side of this little ridge. I haven't picked up now, but I think it's because the, I've got the icons there. Turn it around. You can see little dust swells coming up as well with the wind. I don't know if my ship's causing that or if it's the atmosphere on the planet. But yeah, let's scan this, see what we've got. Right, yeah, I think we should break some of these ones down. Get the man. Oh, look at that. going up but very very slowly. I wonder I have to move the laser around the rock. They start ditching out some proportion, some energy on the other parts of the rock. Oh, you can see it's climbing but very very slowly. Very slowly. Is any anybody out there as well just like give me any advice if you want. Uh, what ships have you got? What's a good ship to, to use? What sort of ores do I want to collect? Because I'm pretty sure we're refining in as well. And I will not have a clue on which ores are worth refining, which ones are just worth being kept as they are. But yeah, if you've noticed that as I'm moving this laser around the rock, it seems to be climbing a little bit quicker. Still not as quick as I'd like, but quick enough. I believe you can get different attachments for your ships as well. So I can buy different mining lasers and things like that. Let me get this into the green. It's taken a while. Looks like it's stopped climbing now. Maybe if we try get a little bit closer. Oh yeah, look at that, now we've got a bit closer, it's climbing again. And we're in the green officially, congratulations! And what I want to do is keep this in the green, I do not want this to go on the red, because once it blows in into red, it'll probably wreck my ship, or it'll send us flying in a, in a new direction. And obviously that's not what we want. And it's broke up, nice. Now I think if I scan this, I don't think this one's going to stop. Oh right, yeah, so the scanning seems seems fine. Seems okay. Yeah. I think we probably should break this one. Because once it's broke up, I wonder... If it, that'll be the extraction phase. We'll put the laser on, we'll start chomping it down. Oh yeah, look how quick that's gone now. Yep, 
Yeah, so like I was asking if any of you have got any advice that you think it would be beneficial to me, what sort of ships you've got, what ships are good for anything, and what sort of missions have the most longevity, because I don't, like I said, I don't want to do certain things and just get bored them really quick. And that's broke now. Now when the purple silhouette like that, but that's where I can go to extraction mode and extract it out. Ugh, look how cool that looks. I wonder if the different mining heads actually have different like lasers and different colours and like look different. Be cool if they did. What it looks like from the outside. If you notice as well, the weather now is actually getting quite adverse. So the wind, the wind's starting. And I how it's like fog or if it's supposed to be like a snow. The rock's getting filled with snow as well, that's pretty cool. Right, so we're just extracting these, just going through. I tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep extracting these. I'm just going to look for the ones that I find are a bit more beneficial. Then what we're going to do is we're going to land and we're going to jump out and see what it's like to be outside in the actual atmosphere. I'd actually land and uh, mine the rest of these because you can see the wind outside. It was actually throwing my ship all over the place. It was actually getting really, really hard to handle. Now I like that. Don't like when it's like all this really windy weather, but your, your ship just somehow manages to be totally fine. Like, and I was really fighting against it as well, to the point where it was getting quite difficult. So, as I say, I landed. I uh, just made sure I've got my helmet on. I'm going to be going out here and dying because I forgot to put my helmet on, which I have done in the past. Maybe we all might have done that. Well, I don't know. Some people out there are pretty, pretty smart. <laughs> I mean, it was a dumb thing for me to do, but I think I took it off for something. I think it was the eighth the last time I played, and then... Oh, look at this. How cool is this? Anyone who says that this game isn't visually pleasing, talking on the ass. But imagine what this game could be like. What do I have got my weapon? Yes, I do. There it is. Back. Let's save this. Keep pressing the skip to get out of this, but I can't shut this up on now. F2. So there's my pistol, there's it. What? That was strange. Right, let's uh, try and pick this up again if we can. And then we'll go around. Right there, we'll go to the quick. And grab it. Let's, let's fire some rounds and see what the bad boy sounds like. Oh, that looks weird. Oh! Oh, that reload animation, please. Next to a third person, oh my god. Now don't tell me that is not beautiful. I've got to do this. I've got to do some missions where it requires me to use this. This is freaking nice. Think it. Oh, there's some bottom left, if you see. See, it tells you the temperature and then your survival time, which is 12 minutes. So I'm probably best off getting out of here. Uh, just show thing. It looks like the snow's actually covering my arm as well. I mean, I am all, all white, but the texture looks like the snow is actually like landing on my uh, character model. I, I could be talking on my ass, but it does look like that. Anyway, we're going to jump back on the ship. I think it's the best thing to do now. We're going to jump back on the ship, and we're going to go to Port Alisar, and uh, we're going to see if there's a refinery there. If there's a refinery, we'll just sell the oil straight up. Anyway, let's do that now, because I think it's about 54 million... Uh, I don't even know what it would be. It's metres. I want to say metres, but don't quote me on that. Um, I think it's 54 million on the distance, so it's, it's going to take a while to get there. So what we'll do is we'll jump back and we'll I'll see you. Uh, when we're in Port Alisar. So here we are at Port Alisar. I'm just going to run to the terminals to sell this 
stiff, but well, I didn't show the landing because I, I, part of the side's been here since the beginning, so we've, we've all seen part of the side what it looks like, and it's pretty much the same. So, where's the little terminals gone? Unless I've just come to these ones now. Yeah, I believe I do. There needs to be refining portal screens on the walls to the left and right. Why is my ship not coming up? Oh, there we go. Yep. And as I thought, the stuff that I've got, they don't trade here. So, that's kind of a bummer. But, at least we did a bit of mining. we seen what that was like. We've seen the weather effects. Oh my god, they are freakingly good. And the weapon animations, the mwah, the weapon animation was sexy. But in episode two, we're going to do a bit more. We'll probably, I mean, this is quite a long episode considering what we've done. But I am going to start cutting these up and making it so we can get a lot more done in this amount of time. Show off a few things and start having some fun with it, and my reactions to go along with that. So we just took a little seat over here, we're going to get a bit of a rest, took the helmet off, everything like that. And I think we're going to end the episode here, but I hope you really did enjoy this episode. It's uh, nothing too glamorous, but just my reaction to first coming back to it. But we are going to go a bit deeper on the next episode. We're going to test out a few of the missions and things like that. But if you did enjoy, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.